Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Russ with RWGResearch.com. I got another video for you. So, this one's a little different, but it's going to be awesome. Most of you don't realize I'm an audiophile. I'm that guy that just loves my stereo. Loves everything about it. Loves it to be crisp. Loves it to be clear. Loud. Loud bass. Like, I'm an audiophile kind of guy. Now, I make YouTube videos. What does that mean? It means I like my audio nice for you guys as well. And it doesn't always work out that way. Now, the thing is, is when I edit videos, I've always been using earbuds. Okay? Some type of earbuds like this. And they're all different. What a guy needs to edit videos properly is a headset, something that you can really hear what's going on. So this video is actually about a headset. And today we're going to be reviewing this guy. So this is Trend Labs and these are the Ventura wireless headphones, Bluetooth. Yeah, let's get started. All right. Oh, by the way, this is an in-depth review. If you want the short review, here it is. I like these a lot. They're fairly inexpensive. They're worth the money. They sound good. And overall, I think you'll like them. Now, let's get back to the long version. So let's have a quick look at these headphones in the box. So the box doesn't really have much on it. It's actually pretty plain Jane. Uh, there's not even really any specifications. It's just awesome headphones. So... They do just slide out of the bottom, like that. All right, green, ooh, I like this green, by the way. And yeah, that's the case they're in, like that's it. So I have been using these for a while, so the sticker is uh, ever so slightly starting to come off because of the way things sit, I think, in my bag. Listen to this zipper. Oh, listen to that. I mean, I'm not going to lie, for a round zipper, that is the best sounding zipper ever. I have a lot of other weird cases I use for my cameras, and man, this is the smoothest zipper ever. So let's see what we got in here. All right, we've got a little booklet, it tells us how to use this thing, how to work it, what's going on. So since there was no specifications on the outside of the box, let's look at them right here. So it looks like 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. That's pretty normal. 40 ohms impedance. It's got Bluetooth, uh, all these different Bluetooth versions. Uh, version 4, EDR, uh, CSR, A2DP. A, V, R, C, P, H, F, P, and H, S, P. Yeah, I have no idea what all the different versions mean. 10 meters of distance. Charge time is two to three hours. I've actually tested the charge time. It's fast. It really does charge fast. Play time, eight to 10 hours. I've never like run out of battery on a day or two days adventure. It's, it's pretty incredible actually for my usage. 200 hours of standby time. I can confirm that uh, these guys do have a really good battery system in them. So it comes with a uh, USB, what is that, a micro? And uh, that's how you charge it. So it just sits in there like that. Now I bent these out a little bit so they don't fit as quite as nice as they originally did, but they were originally a little more rounded, but I had to bend them out again to fit my head nicer. They still fit in there nice. I have, I have no problems. This is, this is a good case. It's actually pretty thin. It's not as bulky as what you would think it would be. And I've had no problem carrying these things around. So there they are. Beautiful looking things. Look how shiny, man. Shiny aluminum. I think the buttons are actually plastic. Everything else on these are aluminum. Uh, and I don't know what this metal's made out of here, but I think they... Could be aluminum, might be steel. But the uh, rods here that pull in and out, they are aluminum. Speaker housings are aluminum. This is all real leather, and it's actually really soft. It feels really nice. And these actually just sit on here. They kind of... This one kind of spins free. But I haven't had an issue with anything about that. Yes! 
Awesome. Ah, look at these bad boys. Man, feel really nice. So I always wear a hat, but I can't put these on. Oh man, gotta love that. Oh, pull these out just a little bit and see how they are. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, actually, these things are actually really light. As a matter of fact, I'm probably talking really loud because it just cancels a lot of noise out. Um, but I've been actually testing these things out for about a month now. And I can say I do actually really like these. I'm amazed at how crisp and clear the audio is on these. I was surprised and the bass sounds really nice and there's not really any distortion. Um, now I've tested these things and tried to pump the music up really loud. I can't get these things to distort. Matter of fact, let me give you a quick demo. All right, as you can hear, I've got these things cranked all the way up just so you can hear what they sound like from over there. And I'm not sure, I'm gonna get closer. All right, I'm gonna put them on because I want you to hear what they sound like. These are turned all the way up on both the device it's connected to and these. Yeah, I'm gonna pause it. All with the push of a button. So these buttons on the side, all right, there are three buttons. You've got the big button and the two small buttons. So the two small buttons are multi-buttons and also the big button, they're all multi-buttons. And then there's a little light down here that blinks when it's connected. There's a microphone hole and then there's a USB micro port right there for charging. Now you can listen to these things while you have them plugged in, which is really nice. So let's talk about battery life real quick. Uh, you know, I've actually tried to kill these things on the battery. I went for like two days wearing these things all day long. And they just, uh, supposedly they're eight hours, but I've had them last much, much longer. I think they have to put down a number and that might be like max volume. And that would be only eight hours. But if you listen to them with much lower volume, I never have these things full volume unless I'm just really wanting to listen to a song and really crank it out. But normally it's much lower listening levels. And I think that that's why the battery lasts for such a long time. Because those lower listenings make this thing last really, like a really long time. I love the emblem, by the way. That lightning bolt. Yeah. So the buttons, the big one, you hold it down to turn it on. And if you hold it for a long time, that's how you set up the connection. Now, talking about connections real quick, I've never had a problem connecting or disconnecting to something. If I have like three devices I connect to often, I just hold the button until I get to pair mode and then toggle on off the mode that, or the Bluetooth that I'm trying to connect to. And it seems to work just fine. I've really never had a problem with that, which is good because if you're fighting connecting to multiple devices, because I connect to a lot of different devices, that's bad, but I don't have that problem. Now the volume control, if you hold up or down on the volume control, okay, you hold it and it'll volume up, you hold it and it'll volume down. If you push it once, it's track forward and the other one is track backwards. So those functions work really well. So let's briefly talk about the way this thing looks and feels. So the leather is real leather as far as I was um, told or and concerned. Um, it's actually really, really nice and soft. It feels really nice. Now, the body here, these guys are actually aluminum, not plastic. And man, that's some of the shiniest aluminum I've ever seen. The edges, look how shiny the edges of that aluminum are. It's really incredibly shiny. And then the arms right here that pull in and out, okay? So there's all the way out, pretty big, and then all the way in. These are actually aluminum right here. This is also feeling like a metal. I don't know if it's aluminum or something else. And then I don't know what's in here, if it's aluminum or what, but then you've got like a spring steel or something. And these things are, are actually like really, really flexible. I haven't broke them yet. Um, trying to get them to fit my head slightly better. So the construction's really nice. The only odd thing I found was that the plastic on the inside is white. So if you look through the, if you look through the port there, you can see the white plastic doesn't bother me I just thought it was a weird choice whatever it's, it's, it's like from the outside you can't even see that 
So these things actually, like I can't complain about the, the way that these looks and feel. There's like a cloth inside here. I don't know what uh, material it is, it's hard to see, but it doesn't feel uh, like it's gonna break or anything like that. So yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with the, the way that this looks and feels and to clean it, I've cleaned it a few times and it seems like things come off of it. I don't really have a big issue there, so awesome. So let's talk briefly about how these things fit. Um, you know, they fit over your head, right, like this. No problem. Now they are on ear, not over ear. But I've learned that I can actually put them on here like this and keep my hat on and they actually just stay on my head. I don't have a real big problem if I wanted to keep my hat on. They usually are pretty comfortable if I'm sitting pecking at the keyboard or something simple. But um, I would have to say for, you know, the price and the quality is excellent. I'm actually very amazed at how nice and the quality of these things are. So one of the things that I wanted to do with these was actually live stream. Okay, so I do a lot of live streaming. So this has a connection capability. So it has Bluetooth for like audio for a headset and then it has stereo Bluetooth. So the stereo Bluetooth is actually pretty high quality and it, it, I cannot hear any quality problems when I listen to it. Um, when I switch it over to the other mode, you can definitely tell there's a much lower quality to it. So when talking on like Skype, I've had people tell me that this actually sounds really good. There's no like complaints versus just using a regular headset and microphone. Um, it's probably slightly less than normal, but I haven't had anybody tell me like it's terrible or I can't hear you or anything like that. Everybody I've called can hear me just fine and seems great. Now I have set these up for live streaming so I can hear the audio and I can actually see what's going on at the same time. And they do not sound that way when in just the regular stereo listening to music. It's only when you switch to the other mode like you're listening uh, to someone like on a cell phone or calling somebody or something like that. The quality is different. So that's just something to note. Okay, so I wanted to be able to connect these guys to any computer that doesn't have Bluetooth. So I got one of these. Um, this I bought off Amazon for, I think it was like $8. It was less than 10. And I have to say, these two together actually really, really work well. I'll link this in the description. I don't get anything, you know, for sharing these things, but I wanted to let you know, yes, indeed. Buy a little Bluetooth dongle if your device doesn't have Bluetooth and it works really well. Switches between Skype automatically. So if I'm listening to music and I get a Skype call, automatically switches over with this. You know, I don't know if any other stuff usually does that, but with this, it works great. So I can't complain. That's on uh, Windows 7 and Windows 10. I tried it on both and it works fine. So I work in a pretty big facility, a little shop area, and I can walk around anywhere in there and it seems to work really well, even in two little separate areas I work in. Haven't had any problems with uh, with distance. I don't go super far. I'd say I stay within a 30 foot, yeah, 30 foot, 30, 35 foot radius, and I don't have any issues with, with the range. Um, cutting in and out or anything like that, everything seems to work pretty well for me. All right, I've I've pretty much had good things to say about these but you know there are a few things very very few that I would like to discuss so one of them is is this light blinks all the time when it's connected it all the time when it's connected now is that a huge problem no you could even put a tiny little piece of tape over that and it would be fine and it doesn't really ever bother me but when I'm sitting in a dark room and I'm editing in the dark it blinks over here which you know isn't anything to be real concerned about but I wanted to point it out it does flash all the time I don't know maybe it wouldn't bother you but it kinda just feels weird to me sometimes the only other thing I wasn't real fond of is for a long time because these are uh, not over ear but on ear when I put these things on and I get them set right they just felt a little bit tight now, that's good because they stay on my head, right? You want them to stay on your head. However, um, it actually kind of bothered my ears a little bit. I'm not used to such things, so it's something I had to get used to. But actually, what I did was I actually, and I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but I actually bent them out. See how much more out they are now? And now, they rest on my head. They're still tight enough to get that seal, but they don't hurt my ears, so... 
I presume that that's okay. I haven't broke them yet. I didn't get, you know, no one told me I could or couldn't do that, but um, but I did, and you can see how they they deformed them a little bit. But that's just to get my get my head fit a little bit better without pressing so hard on my ears. Yeah. Oh, my hat does not fit very well, by the way, when I have these on. I look kind of funny, but I don't usually wear a hat when I have these on. I actually was expecting these to be a lot lower in sound quality. For my standards, which are pretty high, it's not like some Bose or some really, really high-end, like, you know, $1,000, $500 headphone, but it's excellent quality for the price tag. I am being totally honest there. I would absolutely recommend buying these. Also, uh, there are some other promotions down there that this company is doing. They actually sell little remote control drones that are actually pretty cool, but um, I wanted something I could really use, and uh, this is what I got, because I'm going to be using these every day to edit, and uh, the quality of my videos lately, you may have may not seen any difference, but I can tell they're actually much better mixed. Alright, peace out. God bless. Have a good day. Later.